Tonight, we are working for you getting all of your Metro school questions answered. Everything from when we can expect in-person learning to begin again, sports, and what's being done to make sure every student has a working computer. News 4 Investigates' Lindsey Bramson sat down with the director of Metro schools where nothing was off limits. Dr. Battle, again, thank you for taking the time to sit down this morning and just talk with me. And there was a lot to ask Dr. Adrian Battle, specifically when it came down to resources for the thousands of students who can't afford working computers. Are you aware that there are students who don't have laptops? We have continued to provide devices to students and families who have identified a need um, without any questions asked. But News 4 Investigates introduced you earlier this week to Jocelyn Starnes, who says it took nearly two weeks for her son to get a working laptop. Is there anything more you can do as the director of schools to make sure that every kid who needs a laptop has one? Because well, right now they're, they don't. Well, and I'll, I'll say this, we've, we've had points in times where we've had zero requests um, for laptops and, and hotspots. But as those, as those needs arise, we're going to continue to meet the needs um, of our families. While parents tell us resources have been a major issue, some also say they want their kids back in the classroom and back out on the playing fields. Dr. Battle says the plan is to have in-person learning begin in October and sports to start back up then too. There should be some alignment with um, extracurricular or, or athletics resuming. Despite parent surveys showing the majority wanted their kids back in the classroom, Dr. Battle says due to COVID numbers at the time, she felt all virtual learning was the safest decision, a decision she stands behind today. We will be engaging in um, further feedback from our families as we're moving forward so that they can make an even more informed decision uh, with regards to our phase and approach. We also asked about enrollment numbers and the number of students not logging on to their computers, which right now is just over 1400, a number we plan to stay on top of to see if it changes. I'm Lindsay Bramson, News 4 Nashville.